Hey everyone, welcome to a new video where I'll show you how to add gems to your tools. First, let's understand that there are different types of gems. We have small, crumble, broken, low quality, big, rare and exceptional gems. To craft them, you basically combine 9 gems of the same type to get the next level. I suggest using the highest level, but if you don't have it, a lower one works too. We'll need a smithing table crafted with 2 iron and 4 wood pieces. For armor, we'll use the iris cedar, giving a max 10% blocking blocking. Citrine gives 10% chance for 200% or yield, but remember, each gem has unique powers, not just for armor. For example, this gem gives us 25% more mob XP. If I switch to the chest plate, it offers 10% evasion, while this gives 10% speed. For some reason, you can't add anything to the leggings. I guess it's intentional, but for now, there's no option to add anything. As you can see, there's no empty socket displayed. How do we know if we can add something? When we hover over it and see empty socket, here there's no empty socket so we can't add the 10% blocking no matter how hard we try. On the other hand with the netherite axe, I think we can add any type of gem. They have some pretty interesting attacks. In fact hovering over them shows what these gems do for each item be it a weapon, helmet, chest plate, boots, shield or jewellery. Jewellery refers to rings or similar items. The yellow gem boosts luck, except in boots where it increases jump height. Jade improves attack speed and mobility, while ruby enhances health and tankiness. Exceptional irisite only provides blocking, nothing more. To remove a gem, use big bakusite. Just grab it and the gem's gone. So that's how it all works. Thanks for watching this video.